Hey, I hope we're all doing all right. Ivan here again, founder of Spieler. Big day, big game today, Chelsea Liverpool. Had to show the love, had to show respect there. Um, so yeah, as you know, I'm the founder of Spieler and this week has been a really good one. So, you know, we've got our new website design coming out very soon. We're very excited to be sharing it out with the community, getting everybody involved, getting everybody free Amazon vouchers and Spotify membership. I mean, you know, that's what you get when you do sign up and you enter our competition automatically. Um, so we're really appreciative of the beta testers who are coming in, giving us great feedback, giving us great look and feel as to how they want this community tool to be. We're all about growth and growing and really pushing our community together and bringing everybody collaborative opportunities so really excited with a few announcements we've got coming up which we'll let you know shortly so you know one of the things i think a challenging thing this week has been more just keeping going and how do you manage the work-life balance so i've got a full-time job while doing spiel on the side and Sometimes you have weeks where your work is just completely consuming you. But this is where time management kicks in and it's really important to know I'm going to set a certain a, a time for you, my side project once I get my job out of the way. You know, you have nine to five, which is your job, but then make sure you're looking after yourself. Give yourself a breather before you start getting into your five to seven or, or sorry, 7 p.m. to 2, 2 a.m., which is your side hustle. If you believe in it enough, you will put yourself in the routine. And the beauty of a routine is that the more you keep doing it, the easier things will be. So, you know, when I first started out, nine to five, then seven to two was horrible. But after a while with some persistence and just getting into a routine, your body picks it up and gets used to it. And I think in a way that reignites your passion, kind of having that schedule, to having that schedule, having that plan in place, you know that you're coming to it. So your body, in a way, and your mind, if you're passionate about it, will always kick up that energy and that drive needed for you to get it going. And, you know, some of the most best ideas, your most creative ideas and your most, um, your best work is when you break past that barrier you have, which is tiredness, fatigue, feeling drained, you know, because you ha push yourself even further and you have to go that extra mile and push the extra harder. And I think that's really, really important, entrepreneurialism, resilience, to keep going, to keep pushing. And that's something that's been reaffirmed to me all week. I'm always going to have doubt. I'm always going to have things like, you know, am I doing this the right way? Am I doing that the right way? But have your routine, have your guidance, your mentors around you, have that support around you. You'll be able to push to your dreams. You'll be able to achieve your ambitions and you'll be able to get the very best out of what it is you want to do. So that's my kind of advice for the week as well. Uh, that's been my challenge for the week, um, you know, kind of having just that resilience and that work-life balance. But keep striving and keep pushing for that balance. It will pay off in the end. Hope you guys have a great uh, week coming up ahead. We've got really cool announcements to make in regards to our next global call regarding mental health and Black History Month coming up. So we're planning stuff with that and student room as well. So we look forward to sharing you guys um, the next updates we've got coming up. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. You take care.